All right, guys, what's going on? And welcome to the channel. So in this video, I got some pork belly right here. Um, I'm gonna get this seasoned up. I'm gonna smoke it on the mill scale offset smoker. I'm gonna get it nice and tender to about 190, 195, and I got the skin on. Uh, we're gonna get that skin nice and crispy, and it's gonna be like some pork crackling chicharrones. If you guys like that, um, stick around, and check this video out. Here we go, guys. Check it out. So we got our pork belly right here. So the seasoning I'm using is some Meat Church fajita rub, as you can see right there. Usually when you go to the store and get pork belly, you get the bigger portions. Um, but I went to the butcher and they're already portioned out like this. So they're about a pound and a half each. So you got about three pounds total of some pork belly right here. And for anyone out there that doesn't know, um, this is what they use to make bacon. So what you do is you do a salt and sugar cure. You get some pink curing salt with whatever spices you want to throw in there. Throw it into a bag, let it sit for a week, and then you have uh, cured bacon. All you do is smoke it and then thinly slice it. And then you got some good bacon. So I'm not doing it like that. All I'm gonna do is score the skin, some lines down, cut it in half, I'm gonna get it seasoned up. So here we go. Going about a quarter inch down. This is gonna help render out the fat and you're gonna get the seasoning that gets down in there and it's gonna flavor it up really nice. Also what you could do is you can get one of these things, it's called a jacquard. Um, basically it's a, meat, it's a meat tenderizer. You got the little things right there. So before I scored it, you can go around and just prick the top of the skin to open up the pores to let the moisture out. But for the way I'm gonna crisp this skin up, you don't even need to do this, but this is just another option if you wanted. So now that we have the lines scored, as you can see, I'm gonna flip these over. I'm gonna go straight down each one lengthwise. Got that fajita seasoning. I got this skin side down because I want to make sure I don't want to get the rub on the skin because I don't want, um, you know, when I crisp off the skin, I don't want anything to burn because what I'm going to be doing is frying it. And there's no sugar in this rub, but basically you can use whatever rub you want to use. And so all I'm going to do with the top skin portion, I'm just going to put some kosher salt, get a good amount on there. Hopefully it draws out some moisture, gets the skin a little bit dry. Now, so what I'm gonna do is, I got a wire rack here. I'm gonna set these like this. I'm gonna let these hang out uncovered in the fridge for at least two hours. You can go up to overnight. It's probably gonna be a little bit better results if you do overnight. But after that, I'm gonna get the smoker fired up and then we're gonna smoke these up. All right guys, so got our pork bellies right here, as you can see. It's been a little over two hours in the fridge, about two and a half hours. We're running it right around 300 degrees. I'm gonna go with the usual temperatures, about 275. It's probably gonna take a few hours. I'm just looking for internal temperature at 190 to 195. I'm just gonna leave it on this tray right here. And I'll show you guys what we look like when we're done. what we're looking like after about two and a half hours. Got some good smoke on there. Looks pretty good. We're like at 162 internal. So I'm thinking about maybe another hour, hour and a half, and we should be good. I'll just show you guys when it's all done. So just about five hours later, we're all done. These are all smoked up. These were temping at about 190, some were a little more. I don't know if you can see that. 193, you should be okay. Yeah, we're good. So all I'm gonna do at this point is get a thin layer of oil in this cast iron pan, like a super thin layer. I'm just gonna fry these skin side down. I obviously don't wanna fry the meat, I just wanna fry the skin. It's gonna be on medium heat. It's probably gonna take like five, maybe 10 minutes. You know you're gonna be done because you're gonna get that blistered look and it's gonna be all super crispy. It's gonna be really good, so here we go. And it doesn't have to be frying right away. It's gonna come up to temperature.
So there it is guys, some smoky, crispy ass pork belly, as you can see. Mmm. That was so good. That rub I put on really got in there. That meat absorbed all the salt. So it's good and salty, it's got flavor to it. The skin is actually a little bit salty. Good flavor. Crazy crispy. A couple of these pieces kind of got away from me. They're a little bit charred up and I kind of scraped off a little bit, but not bad for my first time trying. I actually saw, if you guys know who Harry Sue is, I saw him do this method, so I wanted to try it out. Um, he's got a video on this. And also America, America's Test Kitchen, I saw one of their videos and they pretty much did the same, same type of method. Came out really good. And this pork belly wasn't too fatty because a lot of times when you go, you'll see like a ton of fat on these pork bellies and it's kind of like unbearable. But there's a good amount of meat in here, which is pretty good. Throw a little sriracha on there. Mom. Put that with some rice or some eggs. Can't go wrong. But there you go, guys. Definitely try this one out. You're not going to regret it. I'll see you on the next video. Peace out. Thank you.